We're at the edge of the Beaver Creek wetlands, and this is Japanese knotweed. It's an invasive species into the wetlands, and they do not want to use chemicals that pollute the water and the air. We're approaching nine billion people on this planet. Nearly 800 million people, that's one in nine, currently are food insecure globally. It's a multi-dimensional problem, and we need a diverse workforce with international savvy and knowledge in agricultural policy, business, and science to combat this challenge. We must find new ways of farming, processing, and distributing food. This is already happening with the addition of sustainable practices in farming, precision agriculture, conservation, and urban gardening, just to name a few initiatives. We want to solve this problem here at Central State, and we have teams of students and faculty that are doing research in precision agriculture to kill weeds without the use of chemicals. We're taking directed energy and adapting that to the field use, agriculture use, and even to trees to try to kill pests in those areas. Our job as an 1890 land-grant institution is to take the research that we do here on campus and then make it applicable to the real world. That includes outreach to the state through Central State University Extension. Our Extension staff, including our program leaders and county educators, deliver science and community-based educational programs and services to our Ohio citizens. And we want to be relevant with the services we provide. And we certainly will not grow our industry, grow our population, or even produce food without continuous supply of fresh, clean drinking water and, and the water for other purposes. So there's bright future for water research, for water education, and for water resources management. It really requires multiple disciplines working together. Our International Center for Water Resources Management is also an 1890 land-grant center of excellence for water quality. Students in our center are working on controlling algal blooms in Lake Erie. They're also working on managing water resources for Ohio's oil and gas industry, and they're investigating greenhouse gases in our air from traffic pollution. Central state students cannot wait to solve water problems that their communities have experienced recently. Our graduates serve municipalities, process industry, and agriculture globally. We have to keep this industry successful. We need to sustain this precious resource, both in quantity and quality. Just like our world is changing, so is our industry. Preparing students to adapt to those changes in technology, culture, and our global environment is at the heart of Central State's mission. I firmly believe that our students will use their new education to grow into the leaders and educators of the next generation. They're going to play a huge role in making sure that Ohio remains competitive and relevant in our industry. All of our programs are designed to give tools to citizens that empower their lives and make a difference. That's what I really like about working at Central State University. It's an opportunity to be a public servant, but it also gives us the chance to see that service pays dividends for other people. That, to me, is an important part of doing this job. Public service is a critical part of being a land-grant university.